What is up everybody, welcome to the joy of numbers. Before we get started with the good stuff, I thought I'd just explain the plan. You're listening to the first episode of a course in number theory. Number theory is an area of pure math interested in the study of integers, that is whole numbers. We're trying to answer questions like, which prime numbers can be expressed as the sum of two squares? Or, are there any square numbers one less than a multiple of eight? One of the great attractions of number theory is that it requires very little knowledge of other areas of maths to get started, so we can really hit the ground running no matter where you are in your mathematical journey. We're going to start by talking about prime numbers and modular arithmetic, and our end goal is to give Kummer's proof of Fermat's last theorem for regular primes. Now that's quite a long way in the future, and along the way the story's going to take many twists and turns and excursions. We're going to cover most of the material present in an undergraduate number theory course, as well as a fair chunk of the stuff in courses on group theory, ring theory, field theory and Galois theory. We're going to be doing maths for the sake of doing maths, and there's no syllabus in mind. Yeah, Kummer's always going to be lurking in the distance to try and bring us back to Fermat's last theorem, but I'm never going to hesitate to take a detour if it looks interesting. Now, why should you care about number theory? Well, for starters, it's been around for a really, really long time. Almost every ancient civilization we know of was preoccupied with the study of numbers far beyond their everyday needs. For example, the ancient Babylonians used to tabulate Pythagorean triples, that is, the integers that can be used as the side lengths of a right-angled triangle, to sizes that were far beyond those possible by brute force. In recent years, modern number theory was started, I guess, by Fermat in the 17th century, and then later expanded by Gauss, who published what has been called the Magna Carta of number theory, his Disquisitiones Arithmeticae, when he was 18. Gauss had to say about number theory, which then was called the Higher Arithmetic. The Higher Arithmetic presents us with an inexhaustible storehouse of interesting truths. Of truths, too, which are not isolated but stand in the closest relation to one another, and between which, with each successive advance of the science, we continually discover new and sometimes wholly unexpected points of contact. A great part of the theories of arithmetic derive an additional charm from the peculiarity that we easily arrive by induction at important propositions which have the stamp of simplicity upon them, but the demonstration of which lies so deep as to not be discovered until after many fruitless efforts, and even then it is obtained by some tedious and artificial process while the simpler method of proof long remained hidden from us. TLDR, number theory is great, let's get into it.